Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, 2 hours 2 bs Gundam Reviews. Dot as One Piece gets ready to launch into space today. It's a totally different topic here, as I am going to be learning something, and maybe you as well. Although I know there's a lot of people that already use these to good effect. I want to talk today about Gundam decals. There's lots to choose from. You can see Wing Gundam, Proto Zero here, the MG, Ale Strike, yes, remastered over there, and the real great Strike Freedom Gundam, and you can get them all for a reasonable price. Only 400 yen, and it's even less at Hobby Link Japan, and there's links down below. So for those of you who have been following my site for a while, you know that I'm pretty lazy and do not put on most of the decals they give me, <laughs> especially the Katoki Hajime kits and things like that. Water slides also a little bit intimidating for somebody who, uh, who doesn't want to put in the initial time like me. So I've got M here. He's going to be talking to me and walking me through this, and uh, maybe that'll help out some of you. M, how you doing? Good. Hello, everybody. All right. Uh, quick question. So why water slides? Why are they better? Why would you spend the extra money instead of the regular decals? Okay. First of all, they're more convenient. You can move it any time before it gets dry. And also, second, it's more important for painters because you can just put on a top coat and it will surely look better. Hmm. And that's the nice thing about this. I, when I put these on, and I, I put some of them on uh, to varying levels of success, but it is cool that you get to readjust them, though, although right. the dry transfers and the tape do let you do the same thing. But these, they do look better when they're on. Yeah. All right, so I just pulled them out of the bag there. They've got a nice, convenient way to get in on the inside. Some color here, a seal, and nothing there. And what do you have? The slide marks, and they're going to tell you in Japanese exactly how to do that. And we're going to talk about that here in English. The first thing that I notice about this is that they're sticky. Yeah, they'll actually stay attached onto your hand. So I guess the first thing, Em, is you have to go through these and decide which ones you actually want to put on. Right. And uh, so for people that have been watching me build models, I generally only go for the things that show up on, in the anime. Right. So, you know, Amuro's famous A on the shoulder of the new Gundam and the 08th MS team. But with the Strike Freedom... I'm going to go here for the Archangel over on the shoulder. But first, for some contrast, here's the decals that come right out of the box, and the RGs are sure do have a lot, and they look pretty sharp. You can see, though, that this cut was actually provided by Bandai, so I didn't have to cut it out myself or anything there. And when you put it on, though, it is going to be leaving a little bit of a mark, and especially if you put it on with any sort of dirt or anything underneath it, it's going to be pretty visible. So now let's find out how the water slides work in contrast. All right, so M, what's the first step? Okay, so it's simple, just cut it down, cut the one you want. That's easy. Yeah. Kindergartners could do it. Yeah, absolutely. So here I've cut out my options, and depending on the light of the camera, I don't think you can make it out, but you can see a little bit of an edge around there. I'm going to get rid of the 17 and just keep the focus on the AA. So here we are, ready for the bath. Well, what's next? Okay, so next one, put it inside the water. And better... Uh, warm or hot. Okay, so I've just got some hot water here. You don't have to have very much, right? right yeah. Just enough just to cover little, it. Yeah. So, there we go. Off for a swim. All right, so should we see anything change? Is it going to change color or anything like that? Uh, a little bit of shade change can tell you that it's totally wet. And then... <laughs> it's sort of fun watching it just right. swim around there. Yeah. All right, what's next? Okay, so next we can just take it out after even three seconds of if you used hot water, slide it slowly to the place you need. That's and right. now uh, I can still move it around and I can get some extra water on there if I have to. Right, that's right. This is a little bit wet and then I can tr move it around. The one thing you don't want is that you don't really want these things to start to buckle too much. As you can see, it slips sliding around there until you get it somewhere where you're happy. Almost happy with where this is, is sometimes if you're frustrated with a Q-tip, you can use your finger. The only thing to be careful of is that it might actually just attach itself onto your finger instead of the actual piece. It's always nice when you've got photo references here, but one of the cool parts, Em, you were just saying, that the manual is going to be using the same numbers, or the regular decals and the water slides have the same number, yeah. so that you can just follow the regular instructions and make sure you get it on lined up exactly as you want, whether you want to go Eternal or Archangel in this case. And when it's dry, I was fiddling around with its position for quite a while there. You can see the difference as this is just going to be going on a lot smoother with a lot less garbage all around it, whereas the regular decal is definitely going to be looking a little bit off color compared to the smooth cut lines well, the lack of lines altogether here for the water. 
All right, and M, there's also different products that you can get that can make this job even easier and the results even better. Yeah, that's right. As we see, Mr. Mark Softer, it, basically you can use it on curved surfaces, for example, like a turn A shield, something like that. So if you've got a round surface or something like that, it'll just take the sticker, make it softer, so it will sort of yeah, bend down around the that's part. That's right. Yeah, so how it works is basically to decay the mark, to decay the water slide so that mm. it fits better. So basically, first of all, put some mark softer on the part you are, you are going to use. And then put a water slide and then another layer of mark softer hmm. and it's done. Interesting. But yeah. if we're putting it on a flat part like we just did, you wouldn't use it for this one, right? Uh, that's not really necessary. All right, Em, and besides a foot race here, what do we use this one for? Okay, this one is a little bit different because we're just going to use that basically as a cement of water slides. Because uh, just now you felt a little bit sticky of that uh, water slide, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It that's, it. yeah, that's because it's like uh, there are some there's some cements on on the surface of the water slide. Hmm. So sometimes it's when it's getting old or like for some brands, it doesn't fit that well, then you've got to use this. Hmm. Cool. So do you put this on every time you put on water slides? Uh, basically, yes, I do because it helps you like help the water slides fit better and it's it can last longer. Cool. Yeah. Alright, so I've given this a good shake here, so let's see what we're gonna get with this. So I take my mark setter, I can just put it all over the place? Yeah. Yeah, I can, right. I can miss, I can go all around, doesn't right. really matter? Yeah. Uh, well, don't put too much. Right, and especially yeah. that, I, well, I don't know if it'll affect the lining there. Yeah. But then I can just take a Q-tip here yeah. and dry it all off and hopefully all of the problems it's gonna stay nicely yeah. set in place. But sometimes you may see some wrinkles maybe as you see there are some already but you don't have to worry about that just wait until it gets dry and it will disappear and it will look good. That's cool so unlike with skin with these uh, waiting is going to get rid of wrinkles <laughs> That's compared right. to yeah so there's a lot of elderly people and cosmetic companies that do not want to hear that. <laughs> So thanks a lot there, Em, for showing the benefits of this. You can see that this is just a regular decal over there. It's the kind of thing where if I had a water slide, it would probably look even better. Of course, don't forget to stick around for the RG Strike Freedoms Review. Em, thanks a lot. Thank you, everybody. And everybody, if you've got experience uh, putting these, uh, using your mark setter, using your softer, and just putting on water slides, love to hear your thoughts, the pros and cons. Uh, I am far from an expert, so I'd love to hear of more input, the better, so that people reading the comments can get as much advice as possible. Anyway, everybody, don't forget Hobby Link Japan. You can buy these and more. And thanks for watching and stick around for lots more news, reviews, and everything else you can use. See ya. Mr. Mark. Setter. Go!
Uh-huh.